Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mosh. I'm bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I wanted to bring you guys yet another console video because yesterday I made a console video and we hit like over a thousand likes on the video in the first 24 hours. Guys, we haven't done that in a long time and I do realize you guys miss console Fortnite. So I have to bring you guys a video. I want to see my potential on console compared to PC because you guys know I have not touched console Fortnite in the whole season five. So that's like 10 weeks of just not playing on console. I've only been strictly PC for 10 weeks so coming over to console you would think that i'm probably not good at the game no more on console but let's 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 find out i want to do a little building technique or trick and see how good i actually am if i still have it on console and if i do then maybe maybe i'll switch over who knows maybe i'll just keep coming over once in a while to give you guys tips and tricks for console i'll touch up on it so i mean if i have the potential to build crazy things and i have the potential to teach you guys then why give up on that you know now this doesn't mean that i'm going to come over to console 100 i still love pc fortnite just because everything's so smooth it's a lot quicker and easier for me but the thing is 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 i know you guys want some console tips and stuff like that so i I am going to try and keep up try to keep up with the whole console community as well as pc uh whenever i live stream and stuff like that i'll probably end up playing on pc but just normal gameplay like tips and tricks and stuff i will try to do it on console and teach you guys different things on console now yes i'm not saying it'll always be a console 100 sometimes it will be pc so if you guys are here and you, you don't want to see any pc gameplay please just know that that's not how this channel is going to be but guys with that being said before we start the video i want to announce the two winners of yesterday's giveaway so if you don't know every video i'm picking two brand new winners to give them the battle pass you guys are going to get the battle pass completely free the only two things that you have to do give the video a thumbs up and comment down below what system you play on we've done this i think three different videos so we've picked up to two four six six winners so far this is going to be our eighth winners we're going to have eight winners already for you guys so again this is legit you only got to do two things give the video a thumbs up comment down below what system you play on and then the next video i will announce who the winners were for that video so for the last video the two winners are trent d your name is going to be on screen you can see your youtube channel as well on screen um so shout out to trent d thank you man for subscribing giving the video a thumbs up and commenting down below what system you play on you play on ps4 trent d all you got to do is hit me up send me a message on youtube twitter anything like that and i got you with the v bucks so i'll pay for it and then the other person is michael socio i don't know if i said your name right socio uh you play on xbox michael again your name is on screen you know who you are thank you so much hit me up on youtube dms you guys hit me up on youtube dms and i got you guys with with basically uh with the free v bucks but yeah, look at that, guys. Look at this. I'm coming back to console, and I'm able to do the eight-layer wall push. So if you don't know what the eight-layer wall push is, it's this right here where I, I fortify it. Like, on PC, this is this is still hard on PC, but it's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you, if you need me to count that out for you a little bit quicker or slow it down for you, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight-layer wall push. And you're doing this all while all while kind of moving forward at a certain speed. I can't do it on a full sprint, but this is still pretty fast. I mean, look at this, you guys. Sometimes I'll mess up. And this is just this is with with 10 weeks of not playing console. I'm able to do this. That just shows that the potential is there, especially with the new turbo building and everything with console changing the updates. If you guys didn't watch my video yesterday, I showed you guys the best keybinds for console. I'll show you it again real quick. You can watch yesterday's video. It'll, it'll go through the custom keybinds for building to become a better player on console. If you guys want to check that video out, go ahead and check it out. But yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to see if I can do the eight layer ramp rush. I mean, this is something that's extremely hard. I, I was practicing it a little bit before this video. Video. but i mean yesterday I, I found out that i could do this and i never was able to do this on console now this is at a full sprint so this this does take some time some practice i'm messing up right now but this is this takes some skill right here this is not easy to do this is just basically that but one ramp and sometimes you can get shot down a little bit easier so if you want to do an eight layer which is that one that's insanely hard this is only a four layer so i was like you know what if i could do a if i could do a four layer i bet you i can do an eight layer like let me let me practice it and see if i can show my viewers that hey i still got the potential on console to give you guys tips and tricks and the reason i'm kind of making this video is to one prove to you guys that I it's it's not over i can still do console tips and tricks plus i do realize that you guys love 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 absolutely love the console tips and tricks so i wanted to to make this video and show you guys that i i will bring the console tips and tricks back but it's not going to be strictly console like if you ever see like insane gameplays they'll usually be pc gameplays because i will be strictly playing pc but if there is something i can show you guys on console like if i can show you how to do this ramp rush technique then i'll go ahead and make a video talking about it so basically you guys already know it's one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's stairs, floorboards, stairs, walls. Now that's the best way to do it. So when, when you're doing this first off, run up to learn it. When you first learn it, walk up to it and just do this. Do that. It's very simple. Walk up, two down low, two, two. That's all it is. Just, just practice this. Once you get this down, you can actually start going faster. You can try and, you can try and go faster and faster, faster and faster. Sometimes you may mess up, but it's okay. It's just correcting yourself, trying to get it down. And then once you get it down, you can try and, you can try and do it while running. So it's going to be a little bit harder, but walk a little bit, walk forward and do it. I ran out of mats. Look at how quick I edited that, man. I, I love the new console editing. Like I can literally do it as if I'm on PC. Like it's just one tap, like literally tap circle and it edits right away. Like there's no delay. There's no waiting or anything like that. And I just, I absolutely love that, man. It makes things so quick and so easy on console. And this just means all the console players out there are just going to be even better at the game. But yeah, that is my goal on this channel. For you guys that are console players, my goal is to make you a better console player. If I can't do that, then I fail. Now, yes, I do realize that I can't make everybody in the world a better console player, but I can try and help out as many people as possible. So by giving you guys these console tips and tricks, maybe this will make you a better player. Now, this ramp rush technique, this isn't really used for anything special. The only time, and as you can see, I'm going pretty slow. Like, I can't do it on a full-on sprint. So, this means it is it is going to delay me a little bit. But it's, it's just in case. The only reason I would use this is let me show you an example when that is supposed to be used. So, for example, if, if you're having a straight-on build-off where somebody's rushing you like this, there's no reason for you to do an eight-layer wall push because they're not really going to shoot you down. They're more focused on building up to try and get above you. So that eight-layer ramp rush isn't for build fights. The only thing it's really good for is if, say, for instance, somebody has like a little base like right here and they're just sitting here waiting and they're just waiting and they're, they're stalling out and they're waiting for you to make a move or rush them or something like that. Usually when they do this, this is when they'll go ahead and shoot you down the second you start building. So whenever someone sets up like this, that is the perfect opportunity to do this because it fortifies yourself. You're not going to get shot down and you can get high ground on the person. Now when you're doing this, you got to make sure to see if they're building up because if they're building up, oh, this is hard with a tree in the way. If they're building up, then you got to make sure that, okay, I, I can't keep doing this. I'm going to have to just build up normally like this. And you, you want to fortify it still. And then you can build up like that perfectly just like that get high ground on somebody but that's that's the opportunity on when you want to do it i i can't believe i can do the eight layer ramp rush i wanted to show you guys that video and i wanted to show you guys how it's done easiest way to do it now again i have the custom settings if you want to learn the custom settings watch my video yesterday on how i how i set up my controller and stuff like that but basically it's very simple you just have builder pro on or a turbo building on and you literally just sit here and you just hold you literally just hold l2 down look left and right, hold R1, look left and right, hold L2 again, and then R2. It's just it's just rotating through L2 and R2. That's all it is. It's just your, your, your index finger rotating through it. Now, I don't use my index and middle finger. Some people do do that. It may be easier if you do that, but for instance, I just use literally my two pointy fingers. That's it. But guys, thank you so much. If you do, if you are excited for the console tips and tricks videos, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. If you do want a chance to actually win in the giveaway, if you can't afford the battle pass, guys, don't worry. I got some of you covered. I'm going to try and pick some more winners. In the next video, I will pick two more winners from this video. So again, leave a like on the video, comment down below what system you play on and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.